Here's some good news. Creative Commons licensing can provide student journalists with some great images. To understand Creative Commons licensing, it's important to be familiar with the basics of copyright law. You can see our video on copyright here. Creative Commons is a way that copyright holders can license their work for others to use for free. There are a handful of variations to Creative Commons licenses, and you can learn about them all here on the Creative Commons page. When a creator gives a work Creative Commons license, you can use it without permission as long as you follow any restrictions of that particular type of Creative Commons license. Student journalists might want to use a variety of things licensed with Creative Commons, but the most common is probably images. You can find Creative Commons license material by searching the web. Imagine that Taylor Swift is coming to town, it's going to be a big deal, you're going to write a preview story, but you want an image and you don't have one. You go to Google and you type Taylor Swift and go to images up here and look at all these images. Problem is, most of them are protected by copyright and you can't use them. But if you go to tools over here and then you pick usage rights, and you pick Creative Commons licenses, you're going to get a whole bunch of image that, with certain restrictions, you can use. So let's take a look at one. How about, how about this one? Okay, uh, we've got the creator's name here, so we're going to be able to give attribution to the creator. Let's look at the license details. It's going to say Creative Commons, and then it's going to give you the particulars of this license. This one has attribution and share alike. There's six different types of Creative Commons license. They're going to be explained in the text description below the video. But scroll down, it'll tell you what you can do and what your restrictions are. One thing each of the six types of CC licenses require is attribution. Let's look at how to do that. The Creative Commons standards suggest four elements, title, author, source, and license. Most photos you'd want to use one of titles, but if you find one that does, include it. Let's use the Taylor Swift photo from our search example for the rest. We can see that the creator's name, and we see where it comes from, and the license type, BYSA. So you simply take that information, you put it together in the format that your publication uses for credits, and here's an example. Keep in mind that for student media work, it's best to use work created by the students on your staff. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee of JEA, I'm Trip Robbins.